So today, we're gonna learn how to strap down a car. I thought I did this on another video, but I couldn't find it, maybe I didn't. Maybe I just didn't title it correctly. Who knows? With your boy, anything's possible. So, hold that thought. Bobby, hey, come. What's up guys, it's your boy, Hot Shot. Coming back with another video, dropping knowledge, teaching lessons, taking names. Is that what we're doing? That's what we're gonna do today. So today, I've had this request. I can't pronounce your name, I'm sorry. I'm not even gonna try to butcher it. But you've asked me for, I bet you a month. And I keep forgetting. Hold on, be right back. Be right back. So, I've been asked how to strap down cars. So, I have um, some video I'm going to put probably after this with... I'm probably going to do some voiceover because it was meant for car loading B-roll on how I load it. Just loading it, but I guess I'm going to use it to show, tell you how I loaded and why I loaded the way I did. But... Right now, I must tell you why this is strapped the way it is. So, this car here has three straps on it, and it's because of my mistake. I did not put a strap in here first. Legally, I need two straps per car, but morally, I don't do no less than three. Yeah, I got morals. <laughs> Now I'm a now I'm a Kevin Hart Jr., huh? So this is called a three-point over tire strap. What you want to do is you take these hooks. You want to have them as close to the tire as possible. This is it's not touching, but it's if this was body, if this body came to here, I couldn't put this strap here because it would rub and damage the body. So, I'll unstrap one down there and show you how they work. But So that's what's called a three-point strap, and you don't want to be able to move them. But now, on these here, you're going to be able to move them. Because if you look under here, see that? It's we're over here, guys. Over here, put my finger in the hole. See how it pivots? The little pivot. So, because this here is actually what's holding it. So, I'm going to come back here. Big K5 blazer. See how I got it? See how close that is? And that there. So now, the point of having it close like that is if you, let's say, let's say I have this tire but I put this, here's the tire, but I put the straps, like, I don't know if you guys can even make sense of what I'm doing, like that. It's not gonna hold as well as if it's cupped. You want to cup this tire in these straps as much as possible. See that? You know, all I use is the over, the three point over tire straps. So, let's, Let's learn a little something. So, right now, it's unstrapped. She be unstrapped, boys and girls, children of all ages. So what I do, and I know it's backwards. Here's the problem when I don't do it this way. When I use the other camera, I always get myself out of focus, out of the frames. I have ruined numerous videos that way. I know you don't care. But I'm just telling you why you deal with backwards hot shot. So, we're unhooked. We've got, we've got nothing. We've got nada. So you take it. Now you see, I probably, I, I, I'm going to put it in that one. So you put it there. Come over. And then, now. In this one here, you're gonna say, well, hot shot. There's a hole right here that's closer. 
but I want you to look at what happens. If I put it over here, you see it's close to the edge of the tire. Now you may not think that makes sense or makes an issue, but it does. These cars roll and you know, they, they shake and bounce just a little bit, unfortunately. So you wanna have it as close to the tire, but in the middle of the tire. You do not want it on the end. I have one on the back that's on the end and it has fell off uh, twice already, so I had to move it. So, now you just take your hook, put it on in there, and then pull that tight. And you want to ding, dong, what's that? Now you take this here. See how, now all you guys that can't figure out how to make straps pretty. We we'll teach you that too. So you got this little flapper in the wing. So just take it, you lay it flat, bend it over, you put it back like that. And then you take this and just voila. Boom. You ain't never seen a ratchet strap look that purdy. So now, same thing. Same thing. They're all the same. I'm not going to go around and and do every one of them. And as I showed on the other video, I have um, J hooks and swivel hooks. And now, so that's how you use that. It's pretty simple. And these, believe it or not, these straps have held cars when the trucks rolled over. These are really safe. These are actually preferred by uh, some rail yards and uh, OEM, original equipment manufacturer, new cars, will only let you use the three point over tire strip. So, see how that's in the middle? Same thing. We're gonna right order all new straps. So that's that. Ding dong. So now we got that. Let me see if I can't find there's something I wanted to show you. <laughs> Showed it in another video, but I'm gonna show it here also. If I can find it. Here she be. I got it, boys and girls. We got some females in the house now. I don't want to mess with them. Don't want to mess with the females. This is called a lasso strap. You take it, wind it on up, woo, and then boom. And then you just wind your car in. <laughs> no, that's not what it's for. But ain't that what they do with a lasso? Lasso straps. No. But what we do, I'm going to show you on this one. That way, when I try to lasso and hit the truck, it don't hurt nothing. Because I'm going to take it. So what I do being a lasso strap and you take it here wind it on up and then you know if you're lassoing cattle or calf you, you throw it it lands and you yank no, that's not what you do <laughs> all right so let's be real so you take it you just take your your loop Take your loop, throw it over, pull it tight. Now, secret to a lasso strap. Secret to lasso. 10 o'clock and two o'clock. See this hook is right here. You wanna pull against the hook, okay? Why am I pulling against the hook? Because now I have that, right? So when I do this, Take it, 
You can put it on your deck or you can put it here. I'm gonna do it here. And that's how you would normally do it. Now you got that. You see this? See, it's tight. 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, it's tight. Now let me show you the wrong way to use it. Sorry, my dog's over there and that guy flew over it. Well, I thought my dog was over there. So, what they do is they take it and they'll pull them like this and, you know, then they'll strap it down. But when they do that, you got all this moving. So, 10 and 2 pull against the hook. Now, right now, take it and yank back just like if you're going for an old bowl. What's up, what's up? So, number one rule, never go through the wheels. There's other ways to strap it. I don't care if you have to lasso your axle and pull it back. Never, 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 oh yeah, never go through the wheels. On some of these cars, multiple thousands of dollars. Like. I've seen wheels, two G's a piece. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it helps you out, answer some questions, and you don't ever go through the wheel. So, like, share, subscribe, hit that ding ding. Holler at your boy. Facebook is growing, but check me out on Instagram. I'm gonna be posting a lot on Instagram, and I'm gonna be putting where I'm at when I go out to this next trip, I'm gonna start it. Where I'm at, where I'm going, a lot of you guys want to meet up and chill and, you know, whatever. So, that's what we're going to do. I'll put on Instagram where I'm at. You all can make a call. It's your boy Hot Shot. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I enjoy you guys stopping by. If you wouldn't mind if you could hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell right next to it so you know when we go live. Don't forget, hit the Hot Shot Dave's door. And get in on the uh, giveaway we got going on. I uh, shot Dave, we're out.